You're in the Business Insurance Zone with me, Steve Savant, syndicated financial columnist and contributing author to Backroom Technician. This week on The Biz, the Video Sales Soap Opera Series 2. And on today's show, strategic planning with special co-host and creator of Selling Technologies, Michael Mayonardi. When it comes to life insurance, annuities, long-term care, disability, or group pension plans, we're the news you can use. Well, welcome everyone to the Business Insurance Zone. I'm your host, Steve Savant, and we're broadcasting to a nationwide audience of financial advisors right here in Fountain Hills, Arizona, home of America's largest founder. With me, day five, Michael Mayonardi. Hey, Michael, are you surviving? Very well, very well, thank you. Wow, well, we're talking about, I love people that are into video because that's my name, that's my game. But we're talking about it today, another video. Remember, again, all this week, if you haven't seen our show, you probably should go back out to the Monday show at www.thebiz.tv and watch our shows all the way through the week. But the reason I bring this up is because we're showing you a one video that has three supporting solution videos that have a consulting video. So there's the iterations on these video vignettes are so great because it gives you ability to pivot. And if you haven't seen some of these examples this week, every show we've been including two video examples. And this is all in their turnkey package called AMANDA. And it is really, what's that acronym again? It's an acronym, acronym for Advanced Markets for Agencies, Networks, Distributors, and Associates. Kind of a mouthful, but we just like the AMANDA term. I, I like it and I, I, wanna, I want to meet Amanda. So. <laughs> When we're talking about today, we're talking about strategic planning. Now, when I think about strategic planning, I think, oh, everybody that's gonna be watching our show is gonna be all over this because we all think that we're strategic planners, okay? But what are we talking about in this vignette? What are you actually trying to get across in this clip? There's an underlying mindset going on here, and it's, I think, generally fourfold. Number one, the old man who run the business, he figures he knows what's best. Of course, the two kids that are integral in the business, they believe they know what's best. And then you've got the key non-family member who probably is the most qualified, but he can't get past that he's not part of the family. Mm -hmm. So is his opinion discounted in some regard? Mm -hmm. It really becomes an interesting dynamic, and back to your point, how does an advisor communicate these issues to a, a family-owned business? Mm -hmm. If they don't do it this way, how do, you, how do you unravel a complicated topic like this? Most of the business succession planning that we do not get done is because we cannot get past these issues. This is the front end issue. You're thinking, well, I didn't present well. Oh, they weren't ready to buy. They didn't have a check to write. I say many of the times we did not touch the front end issue enough. And that emotion, that feeling that this drives and this clip drives is really the kind of thing that opens the door for discussion, as you've said so many times. And this is giving you an inroad. Everybody says, how can I have a strong position with my business clients? Well, you have to get a foothold when you get into the threshold, how do you knock on the door of a business? The threshold. Everybody's doing different ways to do it, but I think video, 90 seconds is the way to lay this out. Now, when we did this, do you see this as the quandary? I mean, because you picked this one out as a big one. This is a quandary, isn't it, I mean, today in business world? Well, it's harder than, than ever to run a business. We all know that, family owned or otherwise. But the, the thought becomes, again, back to the whole series around family matters is, what else is the advisor doing? They're really illustrating to the recipient, if they're, whoever they're showing the video to, that I understand these issues. Mm -hmm. And let's talk about them because, like you said, if we can't diffuse this up front, they're not going to move forward with any kind of planning mm -hmm. in any regard. Well, let's watch this video clip and see if you come to the same conclusion I did, which was this is a great piece to put in front of a business owner because I think this will get you in the door. Dad, I know this is a sensitive topic. It's not a sensitive topic, Michael. It's a boring topic. Bill, no one wants to annoy you. Elizabeth, I'm already annoyed. Dad, we really need to develop some strategies for the future. Michael's right. The company needs a solid three to five year business plan. Maybe if we just set some time aside at the office or went away together for a long weekend, we could work this out. That's not a bad idea. What do you think, Dad? I think I'd be in a straitjacket by the time the weekend was over. We could go to the lake house. Elizabeth, you actually support this idea? You know, I think Peter and some of the other executives should also be there. No, this is clearly a family matter. That's our problem, Jennifer. This is no longer just a family matter. In fact, I would invite some outside consultants to join us. Elizabeth. When I think of that video, I think about the idea of strategic planning and never thought that I would be talking about strategic planning in the area of 
the discussions that took place in this video. That was huge to me. And again, how would you get it? How would you talk about this? Well, the other thing about strategic planning and is that really a traditional thing that an insurance or financial service person brings up? And when you no. do that, what is that doing to the perception, your perception in the mind of that prospect? When we come back, we're going to talk more about strategic planning with another powerful video with Michael. And don't forget, you can go to Family Matters and order it absolutely free for 30 days, www.familymatters.bz forward slash the bids. You're listening to the insurance industry's number one resource for products, planning ideas, carrier information, and interviews you can use. When it comes to life insurance, annuities, long-term care, disability, or group pension plans, we're the news you can use. Did you know the average 401k runs out of money just seven to eight years into retirement? Time Magazine, The Wall Street Journal, and many other publications have warned of the difficulty of saving with a 401k. But what if there was a way to create tax-free lifetime retirement income with no stock market risk? Good news, there is. You know, living in fear of the next market dive is not the way I want to live my life. Why would I go out there and take on risk when I don't need to? I have a lot less stress knowing I can't lose any more of my retirement savings in the stock market. Call now to receive your free, no obligation analysis of what this retirement vehicle could do for you. A comparison to your current retirement plan and a free video that explains this exciting opportunity. Start planning a retirement you can enjoy instead of worrying about future tax increases and stock market losses. Creating income that will last your entire life is the most important thing you'll ever do. Take control of your future. Call now for your free analysis, comparison, and video. Well, welcome back to the Business Insurance Zone, and I'm Steve Savant with Michael Mayonardi. And remember, you can order today's materials at thebiz.tv, and while you're out there, click on the backroom technician icon right on our biz blog, where I blog all day, and you can get a 30-day free trial on backroom technician that is really great for educational material, needs analysis, and addresses almost every financial planning scenario that's out there. And just a heads up, before moving forward with anything that you ever hear on our show, always consult your tax advisor or legal counsel, as well as your broker-dealer compliance department if you're FINRA licensed. We're talking with Michael on strategic planning. And we're going to go into this next video, which is really pretty cool because you saw the conflict. You talk about that we're not selling anything. We're not really not selling product, but we are talking about human behavior. Talk a little bit about that and so we can introduce this next video. Part of this, and, and I'm going to sound like a broken record, really illustrates that the advisor understands the unique challenges in a family-owned business. So what we're going to see in this next vignette really illustrates this point. A familiar setting is going to bring out familiar behaviors, none of which are going to help the business at all. Okay, so, well, let me just stop you there because you're saying, so are you saying, though, because this took place at home. They brought everybody, the advisors, everybody was brought to the home to talk about this. Those familiar settings, being at home, brought up these behaviors, so the advisor maybe should not have met there? Well, the advisor's not even there. It's just the family mm -hmm. discussing it. But mm -hmm. what it does tell them, tell the advisor that, again, you're able to counsel these people on how do you identify the problem mm -hmm. and how do you fix the problem. Mm -hmm. That is the underlying strategy around everything we develop. Do you think these kind of discussions go on all the time? Family members go back home and they just start duking it out. Use myself as, as the microcosm, my brother and I, family-owned business, 30-some years in business. We have to consciously say to each other, okay, we're going to the shore house or we're going to sit down for a, a family dinner. No talk about the business. The other people don't want to hear it. Mm -hmm. And is it successful? Not all the time. <laughs> so you, even, you have a hard time keeping it to the of same. Every family does. Mm -hmm. It's just you cannot help it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, part of the being family business is so integrated, personal life and business life is pretty much one. There's hardly any partition between the two, and it's, it's so integrated in the way we think. But especially when you have people that are blood-related in the business with you. This next clip is going to be kind of a revelation. I think to a lot of people, they say, hey, you know, you call it try a retreat. Why did you title it like that? Because they go to the family retreat and they feel like if they get away from the office, mm -hmm. they'll be able to be, have a constructive meeting. And it doesn't work out that way. We'll see. Okay, let's watch the video. Okay, we have a lot of topics to cover today, so let's try and do this right. You know, we should probably concentrate today on isolating some business strategies for the future. Alex, let's stick to the agenda I worked up, okay? We're never going to get through all this stuff, Michael. I agree with Alex. Let's just try and focus on some long-range business issues. 
Do you want to run the meeting, Jennifer? Fine with me. If you two start up, I'm going upstairs and take a nap. Look, let's all just try and work together for a change. One simple issue we might want to address is updating all of our promotional materials to reflect the new office in the Midwest. Some of our product pieces are quite dated. Peter, I'm not saying that point isn't valid, but once again, we're bringing up topics that aren't on my agenda. I'll be serving lunch in about half an hour. Is that okay with everyone? Fine with me. I'm starved. Great. And we haven't covered anything. How are we ever going to get this done? This is worse than being at the office. That was not the setting to hold this family <laughs> meeting. I mean, Michael? No, it wasn't. And, and instead of the advisor trying to explain to a business owner how they should do it, just spend 90 seconds and look at this. And I don't have to say anything. No, I mean, this is again, you're looking for ways to talk about things that are critical to a family. And this video vignette actually brings it out in one of the best ways I've ever seen. Well, that's the show for today. Remember, you can follow me on Twitter, Facebook, LinkedIn, or email me, steve at thebiz.tv. Well, that's the buzz on the biz for today. You've been in the zone, the business insurance zone. You're listening to the insurance industry's number one resource for products, planning ideas, carrier information, and interviews you can use. When it comes to life insurance, annuities, long-term care, disability, or group pension plans, we're the news you can use.